it's strength in finding resilience beyond your circumstances what is up you guys i'm zakia monet and welcome to the finding your way podcast where we share stories about hardships and share ways to not let our circumstances define us like you we just here to find our way what's up guys my name is zakia go by zakia monet on all social media platforms welcome to another episode of finding her way podcast where we talk about all things healing growth speaking on traumatic events speaking on real life situations yeah so in this episode you know we always do a journal prompt so this prompt will be what is it that you have to let go in order to fully love you like I always say, you can write it in the comments, you can journal it, you can do whatever you need to do. You can even DM it so we can discuss it. You can email us so we can discuss it. Anything that you feel comfortable doing, that's what I want you to do. But I really want you to do this journal prompt because I feel like this, this out of all the journal prompts that I've done in these episodes, I feel like this is the most important one, especially for me, um, because I'm on this journey of finding myself and finding out what I, who I am and what I am, you know, like my likes, my dislikes, what I need to let go in, in order to fully love myself, who I need to be in order to fully love myself, who I need to be in the next level of my life, you know, all those things. So I feel like this journal prompt is very important. So I feel like, you know, if y'all haven't done any other journal prompt, this is the one you need to be doing. Okay. So now that you know what we kind of will be talking about, um, this, this, this I always say each episode is important to me or special to me but I feel like this is the one that is um, very important to me because I'm going through this journey now and I'm learning like a lot about myself as I discover and go through these traumatic events that I've been through in my life so it's allowing me to learn who I am and you know what I expect out of my like who I want to be in my next in the next stage of my life because I am Touching 30, I am touching 30. I'll be 30 soon, um, in a couple of years. So it's just like, it's it's time for me to get to know me and who I am. And I feel like that's the part of me. I think I said it in like one of my other episodes. Um, it had to be in probably the single episode. I feel like that's probably why I've been single for so long. It's because like, I don't know myself and I don't know I don't I don't I don't know myself well enough to know like what I want out of a partner or who I what I want for even not even a partner out of a friendship or out of a like anything like that like I just don't know who I am and as I get older and as I do more therapy sessions I am starting to learn more about myself and I am starting to you know learn more about what I like and what I don't like and who I want to be in my next life and I know like I don't want to keep harboring over you know things that's not gonna do me any good like i don't want to keep harboring over the traumatic events i don't want to do that i want to move on and help other women you know evolve from that next step or get out of the situation that's what i want to do that's that's the place that i want to be at in order to help women that's why i feel like this podcast is so necessary for me to do because like i've said plenty of times this is my therapy session this is a part of my therapy session this is there so therapeutic for me. This is me venting. This is me getting everything out in hopes of relating to someone because I know I'm not the only one that's feeling this way. So I just feel like it's so important that you get to know yourself and who and who you want to be before even you know trying to venture out in different these different relationships or you know friendships or like even family. You know, like it's okay to distance yourself until you know who you are and what boundaries you want to put in place between you and other people that is so important so as i get older those are the kind of conversations that i want to have with myself and my therapist and even with god i talk to god often now it's crazy i know people usually talk to god when they're in trouble when they're going through something that's always been my thing but now i'm trying to get in the habit of talking to him even when i don't need anything so I'm trying to have these conversations with God and it's kind of hard for me to have this conversation because I just don't know um I'm in a I'm in a a, a a weird space of the unknown of like not knowing what I want and who I want to be but I know what I want to do so I feel like that's the first step in order like for by me knowing what I want to do that'll help me know who I want to be if that makes sense so I just know like <clears throat> in order for me to 
move on in this next step of life, I have to get to know me and get to and get and put in place some boundaries and put in place like some rules and put in place like these different things that I need to have surrounding me like as a protection bearer in order for me to be who I need to be. So I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense because like I feel like who we are and what we develop is like a is like a a bearer. Like that's our safe space. Like that's who we are. Like that's our that's our fence. That's our fence to get inside of us. Like to get to know us if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense because I'm, I don't know, I want to be talking just to talk. But I feel like in my head that makes sense. I'm going to say that makes sense. But I feel like as we interact with new people or get to know people or even family members or even old friendships, I feel like we have like these layers to us that are like traits, like our personality traits or like the things that the people that we are, you know? I feel like there's layers to that. So that's what that's what I mean when I say like there's a fence around us to get to us. I hope I really hope that made sense because it made sense in my head when I said it. So I hope that made sense. But anyway, um, I just feel like I feel like I had a hard time. I feel like I had a hard time loving myself. Like I I still do have a hard time loving myself. Like even though like I'm getting to a place where I'm more confident, I'm more sure about myself in certain areas, there's still like a lot about me that I am um insecure about that I am still trying to love and still trying to get to know cuz I'm still trying to get to know myself. Um that's why I say like I still don't know who I am. I still don't know what I want out of relationships. I still don't know like like I feel like I don't know. That, that could be because I am kind of getting to a place where I do know what I want and I do know who I want to be with and I do I do know the type of people that I want to have around me. So, you know, that could be, that's the own thing. But I still feel like I have some areas to improve just like we all do. Um, I feel like it's kind of hard for me to, um, it's been kind of hard for me to love myself because I feel like sometimes I'm hard to love. I feel like I have this thing about me that's like so emotional that it can almost come across as like I'm too emotional if that makes sense. Like I feel like I'm still trying to get myself out of that even though emotions are like there's nothing wrong with having emotions and there's nothing wrong with you know like there's nothing wrong with that at all but I feel like I think too deep about stuff. Like I go too deep about stuff and that stems from a lot of the things that I've been through because whenever I feel like I think too deep on something it's always something that I'm triggered by and it's always something that brings me back to something that's happened before so that's something I'm still working on that's why therapy is a great tool I always said it and I will always be an advocate for therapy you know therapy is not for everybody but it is for me so I will stick by it I feel like you just have to find your person and if you even if you can't find your person God like God is the ultimate resource and I feel like God is the leader of my therapist and she like God has been really talking to talking through her to me so I feel like that's why I connect with it so well that's why I feel like I'm a pro advocate for it and I feel like that is also important when finding a therapist finding somebody who is like if you are religious or if you are trying to you know go on a different path I feel like that is important that is an important thing to look at when you're looking at a therapist that was one of the things that I look for when it came to my therapist, I wanted someone who was black. I wanted someone who was spiritual, that was religious, that could pour into me the word, that could show me, like, could point to point to me, point me in the direction of the word in the Bible. Like, that's what I wanted, because that's the path that I'm going on. So whatever path that you're going on, like, I feel like that's, some, that's something you should think about when you're looking at a into a therapist. So that was something that I, that I did, and she checked all the boxes off for me. I know I'm messing with my top, but these things keep trying to do a thing they keep trying to do a thing but yeah like I just feel like you know like I get triggered a lot so that's that's probably why I think too deep on stuff that's probably why I go into stuff a lot but I'm learning I'm growing I'm evolving from that like I'm, I feel like I've been doing a really good job lately 
I feel like I've been doing a really good job of that lately of not, you know, like thinking too much into stuff or not making it weird, making the conversation weird because that could be uncomfortable for other people. Like when you're thinking too deep on something and when their mind is not even there, they don't even know what they said or they don't even know what they've done, what they've done, it can make the conversation weird. That's why communication is so important. I lack, like, I was a terrible communicator. Like, every, like, <laughs> I am a, t I was, I am not gonna say I am, I was a terrible communicator. I didn't know how to use my words. It was always, I'm fine, nothing's wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong. It's okay. You know, I'll talk to you later. I'll go ghost. Like, I, I just, I was just a terrible communicator. Like, and I feel like I realized, like, that is also a bad thing. That is also a bad thing to do because if you're trying to build a relationship with someone and if this is someone who you say is important to you, why are you shutting them out? Or why are you not letting them know what's going on? Or why are you not pointing to pointing it out? Like, you did this and it kind of triggered me. It's not your fault, but it was something that triggered me. You know? Like, have those conversations. Like, you don't have to, you know, go into the whole detail of what it was that triggered you or, you know, like just just have that conversation you know and I feel like I just lack that like I just lack that like it, it was just it's just terrible I just lack that communication point and I feel like as I'm growing I realize how important that is communication is very important in all aspects like it is so important to voice like how you feel about a, a certain situation like how you feel about how someone did you or what they did or how you feel about anything in general. I feel like communication is so important and that's what can help a relationship last longer if it's communication. I feel like communication is like the probably the number one the number one thing like communication. I feel like a lot of relationships like go sour is because of communicate the lack of communication. So that's something I am working on. That's something I'm working on, like, that communication. Because I go, I'll shut down right now. Like, if I feel like I'm triggered or something is, like, not, like, not get, touching me, like, the right way, like, I, I just, I just disappear. And that's not a good thing. Like, that's not a good thing. Like, you can't just disappear without letting somebody know, like, what's going on. Because then, like, it, when you come back, it's going to be, like, if the person doesn't understand why you disappear when you come back, it's going to be like, you know, like you didn't care about that person. So I feel like that's a very, that's a very important thing to have. Um, that's a, that's just like, that's just coming with me getting to know myself and knowing like what I need to work on. That's why I feel like it's so important to get to know you before like you even like delve into a relationship to even get to know like a relationship. Better yet, like marriage. Like marriage is something that I really want like I really want marriage for a long time I didn't want it because the examples that I had they weren't good examples like they were either not married or they, they were divorced so it was just like I didn't have good examples of marriage so that's something I want that's something I didn't want for a long time just because of that but the older I get the more I realize like I want that like I want my own family I want like I don't have a good relationship with my family so I want my own relationship with my own like I want my own thing so <sighs> marriage is like really a good thing like, even if I don't get married I know it's like kind of untraditional I would like raise my kids like just me if the partner wants to be there then that's cool like that's cool like I've learned with having my son and going through that whole this going through this like raising him by myself like with helping my mom of course like going through this process I've realized like I can really do this shit on my own. God too. God God been doing his big one. Like shout out to him. Like he been doing his big one. Like with the help of God, like I know I can do this shit. Like oh not 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 I cuss. But with the help of him, I know that I can I can do it. Like I wouldn't even like I I wouldn't even like <laughs> It's gonna sound so crazy and so traditional, and it's probably gonna cause so much slack. But like, I just want my own my own family. Like, and if the father's not in the picture, and he's not in the picture. That's fine. I have, like I have God all the time, so it's just like, you know, 
But of course, I want to be able to provide financially for that family before I even start having more kids. So, you know, that's the thing too. It might it might be a little selfish, but that's just like how I feel. Like at this stage of my life, like I want my own family, I want my own land. I want a big backyard, I want a big house just for me and my family. Like it don't even have to be a big house. I want it to be like homey. It could be like a, you know, I, of course, like every girl wants that luxurious, you know, home. Every girl wants their dream home. You know, every girl wants that. So I do want that. But, you know, I just want my own thing going on, you know? So, like, with or without a man, like, that's just, that's just what I'm on. It might sound selfish. It might be a little, you know, crazy. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just on that, like. I'm just on that because at this point in my life it's just like I don't have time for the games I don't have time for the mind tricks I don't have time for the users I don't have time for none of that like I don't have no I don't have no time or energy for anybody who's coming into the the situation with ill intent like who's coming into the situation not genuine but into the situation without pure intentions that is my thing like that is the biggest thing for me like somebody coming into the situation with pure intentions like that is my biggest thing at this point I just want pure intentions like I just want the communication like if this is not what you if you don't want this then just let me know you know like we can we can probably work something out we can work something out you know like if you're coming into it with a different intent then like that just messes up the whole relationship by you not being honest and not by you not being upfront and let me know what you want and what it is and that's where i feel like i fall short at um in a lot of these relationships it's, it's not, i don't even say relationships a lot of these situationships that i begin into because like i just i'm a lover girl like that if y'all don't know that about me y'all need to at least know that i'm a lover girl like i love love like i just i just love love i love the idea of love i love the I just love everything about love. I've always been a lover girl. And it was just like me, I've always, since I was young, like I've always just been trying to find the love in everybody, always. Like I've just always been trying to find the love in anybody. And I just feel like that's because like, I really didn't feel it growing up. Like I really didn't feel it. I really, I really didn't feel like, people can tell you they love you and people can, you know, do all these things and you know, like, provide and do all this other stuff but you have to feel it like you really have to feel it like i'm not saying i came from uh like i don't know my my childhood was crazy my child my childhood was crazy it was crazy but i did have a mom that provided i did have that i did have a mom that provided that it's just a lot of shit that I saw. It's a lot of shit that I've seen. It's a lot of shit that we've been through. It was just a lot going on. And it was just like, providing is good. That's number one. I know you say, I know you love me, but I don't hear it and I don't feel it. You know? So it's just like from a, from, from a young age, I've just always wanted love. And I've looked for love. I don't want to get emotional. like I just be looking for love in everybody and they don't be coming with that when it comes to me from the friendship that I was trying to make and or you know like the people I was trying to be cool with or family like I used to get bullied by family I used to get bullied in school but people used to say that's because like I was a pretty girl like I was a pretty girl and that was a thing um why well, I say I got bullied in school it was just a thing of like people would try to make you feel like you want to out like people would try to like I was that I, I was on I knew a lot of people but I really never connected with people if that makes sense like I always had one friend 
I've always had one friend. I knew a lot of people. I talked to a lot of people, but I always had one friend. Always. I've always had one, maybe two friends, but the other friend will probably like it was just it's just weird. So I really didn't like have much of a social life in school. And so like whenever I would go to school, I would always look for the love that I didn't get from home or I would look for I would try to find my tribe. Like I would try to look for like I would try to look for the people that I don't know. Either try to buy people's love or you know, it was just like a weird time for me. Like it was just it was just a very weird time for me. Like it was very it was very much weird. It was very much weird. I I probably connected more with the guys than I did with the girls. I just like it was a very it was a very weird where it's time for me like school i don't know i'm just i'm glad i'm glad that say is home but i pray for my kid i pray for my kid because i see a lot of me in him and that's why i see a lot of me in him so that's why i try to do my best to make sure that he feels love at home so he's not out there looking for it in somebody else I try to do my, I try my best. I try my hardest that he, to make sure that he feels the love at home, so he's not out there looking for it and somebody else like I did. I just, I just know how that shit can be like, and I see him. He has such a good heart. He's so sweet. He'll do anything for his friends or anybody that he claims is his friends. And like, I just be seeing how some of them friends like do him, and I just be having to have those conversations with him. And it just be like going in one ear and not the other because he still thinks like, Mom, these these my friends. Like these my friends. They're still my friend, Mom. And I'm just I just be trying to tell him, but he, I know it's something that he has to see for himself. Like I understand that and I, I get that. That's that's something that he's gonna have to see for himself. But when I tell you, like it just makes me so emotional because like I see so much of me in him. So. I don't know like that's another part of me like that's why it's so important for me to love myself it's so important for me to get to know who I am and the boundaries set those boundaries and you know like my expectations of people it's just so important for me like in this stage of my life like that is so important for me because I'm it's it's crazy because I don't really I haven't talked about this ever I haven't talked about this ever so it's just like I'm reliving all of those feelings and I'm reliving all of those emotions and I really didn't deal with it as a child. Like I felt like I felt kind of a way because the female like was really like flip flop with me. So I did feel a way about that, but I never showed emotion about it. Like there was never a thing for me. So whenever like a female would act that way or whatever, it would just be like it is what it is so now that I get older it's just like hmm because females still be acting weird with me and like that's the thing like that's just, it's just weird but I don't know I don't know but I don't know that's just like why it's so important for me to get to know who I am and what I want out of this life and what I want what I want for myself like the love that I want for myself like the love that I want somebody to give me, you know, like that is just so important for me because I feel myself like whenever, I don't know, I don't know, even in these situations with guys, it just be like, I know it's one thing, like we, we have an understanding that it's one thing, but then it's just like me being me, me being the lover girl that I am, me being the true lover girl I am. I fuck it up. So that's why I be having to cut myself off from, 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 you know, guys. Like, I just have, I be having to cut myself off because if I, if I feel myself, like, even getting a little ounce of feelings, like, it just, it just, I don't know. It just get weird for me. Because it was, it was, like, one situation where I was talking to a guy. This was probably, like, the first. I don't know it was the first. I count it as the first because the guy before that didn't count. Because he didn't count. But, so it was this guy I was talking to probably after my son's dad. And 
I feel like I was doing a lot more. I was putting a lot more effort than he was. And this was like, this was not even, this was like, this is not those things where it was like a sex relationship. That, that just wasn't what it was. Like, from, I don't say that's, that's not what it was because, like, I don't know. He could tell, he could have told me one thing and I could have, you know, whatever. It is what it is now. But, so I was talking to this guy after, and I just felt like I was doing a lot more than he was, being that I'm just a giver. Like, I'm just, like, I just, I just like seeing my, my people happy. I think that's just my thing. Like, I just like making people happy. And so I feel like I was doing a lot more than he was. And so it was just, like, it just made it weird for me. So after that, it was just, like, I had to realize, like, some men like I don't know if it's a thing of them not being ready for that or that like I don't know I don't know if it's a thing of not being ready for that or I don't know if it's just like they just not on it with me so I have to be very careful of like who I give my love to who I give my attention to and who I pour into I have to be very intentional with that and I feel like I feel like people see you as like a genuine person, people see you as a good person, people see you as like a lover girl, like the lover girl, like, like on social media, I always say I'm a lover girl, I'm a lover girl, I'm a lover girl. So when people see that, people see you are a nice person, they'll use that, that like they'll use that. So, I don't know, so that, like that's just always been my thing. Any relationship with a guy, I've always been a giver. And I feel like I will always be that because like that's just the the love in me. Like I just love love like I just love to make people happy, like I said. So I feel like that will always be me, but I have to watch who I give that to. So, you know, even with that, like I just be, I do be following for the wrong people. They may not feel the same way how they feel about they may not feel the same way I feel about them, you know? So I do have to be very careful about that. You know, I understand everybody is not genuine. Everybody don't come with pure intentions like me. Everybody don't have the heart that I do. So that's that's also a part of me knowing myself and learning, like, you know, how to distinguish the fact between the two, you know? Who's, who's here for what? You know, and separate that. So, I don't know. I'm just still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So... We, we, we're gonna figure this shit out we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out we got to because like like i said i'm pushing 30 and i want a man i want a man so i feel like in order for me to get a man i have to like i feel like it's so important for me to learn who i am and learn like how to love myself because if i can't love myself how can i how can somebody else love me you know like how can somebody else know how to love me if i don't know how to love myself so I just feel like it's so important for me to do that. It's so important for me to be in this stage in life. Even though, like, I am, I feel like in my mind I'm ready for a relationship. But I know in my heart I'm not. Because I'm still on this journey of getting to know me. So I've always, like, I've always, you know, questioned why I've been single for so long. And how I came up every day to get all these women. But I can't even get a, you know, a steady, a steady, whatever. But y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. But, you know, like, I had to understand, like, I'm too special. I'm too special to be with just anybody. And you gotta feel that way about yourself. Like, you're too special to be with just anybody. Like, can't nobody, can't anybody just have this? Like, can't, like, so, so exclusive. Like, that's just what it is. It's just, like, everybody don't deserve you. Everybody don't deserve your love. Everybody don't deserve, like, your genuineness. Everybody don't deserve your your kindness. Everybody don't deserve your space. Like, they don't even deserve your space. <laughs> they don't even deserve your space. Everybody don't deserve your space. So, I feel like the more you get to learn yourself, the more you get to know yourself, the more you get to be in tune with yourself, the more you focus and lock in on you, the more you are able to learn like who you are and what you want around you and the intentions you want around you, the intentions you want with people. Like, 
you're able to distinguish people who have pure intentions and people who are just out to, you know, do shit, get shit for themselves, you know? So if it's just sex, let that be that. Don't come to me with something else if it's just going to be sex, you know? So that's just communication. We go back to communication. That just goes back to communication. So, I don't know. We just going to have to figure this out together. We got to figure this out together because... <sighs> I just, I don't want to be single till, I don't want to be single, like, forever. I don't want to be single forever. Like, I just, you know, I just don't want that. Even though my son would love that. He would love for me to be single uh, till I'm 50. Like, he would love that. While he out living his life, he would just love, like, me to not have no men. Like, he would just love that. I, I know, I know it. I know it, but he wants to understand. Mama gotta get her groove back. Mama need a man. Mama don't need a man. Mama wants a man. I'm gonna have to rephrase that. Mama don't need a man. Mama wants a man. You know? So, if you don't need a man, you just want a man. Just like, fellas, you don't need a, you don't need a female. You just want a female. You just want that companion. You just want that company. You know? Like, we just want that. And that's okay. It's okay to want that. It's, it's, it's okay to want that. It's just like you gotta know and value yourself well enough to know like what it is and what it ain't, you know. So that's just what that is. That's just what that is. So I don't know, y'all. We gonna get this together. We're loving ourselves in this season. We're doing more for ourselves in this season. We are distinguishing the people who don't have the pure intentions, and we are putting them in the line up there with by themselves. We are keeping this barrier of protection of our layers around, surrounded over us, surrounded around us. The barriers of whether it's peace, whether it's love, whether it's happiness, whether it's genuineness, whether it's kindness, whether it's, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to make, whatever you feel like the characteristic that you want to make up of you, if that makes, if that makes sense. Whatever characteristics that make up you, are, there are your barriers keep keep those surrounded around you don't let nobody come in with they don't have no pure intentions you know like just keep this gate locked keep your keep your keep your circle small and then what that's like keep that keep that circle small keep that protection small keep it locked keep it gated keep it protected protect your protect everything that comes with you that is the biggest that is the biggest lesson of this podcast protect everything that comes with you that is the advice on finding her way protect everything that comes with you protect every layer protect every every characteristic protect everything that comes with you because you don't like they're gonna run right through it they're gonna run right through that barrier of protection you're not gonna know what is which who is who and who is here for what who has pure intentions and who don't have pure intentions so like protect whatever comes with you and that is all that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you got something from this message. I hope I wasn't all over the place. I hope God spoke through me to some of you. Um, I know I get emotional probably every episode, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast. I hope you enjoyed and took at least one thing, if any, from this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share us with a friend you know. Follow us on Instagram at Finding Her Way Pod and send us letters or questions to askfhw at gmail.com. We hope to hear from you in the next episode.